a rough day? You could say that. Yeah, me too. I was actually supposed to uh, meet up with a bunch of uh, people from the Zelda site that I work for, but they all cancelled the last minute. Yeah, that sucks, dude. Yeah. What Zelda site do you work for? Zelda uh, Eternity. Uh, dude, I work for Zelda Eternity. What's your username? And then? I'm Elias. Really? Yeah, dude. That, that's awesome. Hey everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of The Elias Thompson Show. I'm Elias Thompson, and hopefully what you're about to see will be more than mediocre. This week we are coming to you from PAX East in Boston, Massachusetts. Later on I'll be interviewing esports personality Gilly Weed, but first, let's hand it off to Elias as he gives us a quick rundown of what's been happening lately in the newsroom. Welcome to the newsroom. I'm Elias Thompson, and I waited to the last possible minute to film this. Recently, a major bug was discovered in the Internet's popular SSL security protocol, leaving millions of websites susceptible to the stealing of sensitive information. Many security experts are already calling this one of the largest security breaches in the history of the Internet, urging everyone to change all of their passwords immediately. While this is obviously a major security concern, I can't help but find some humor in this situation, much like Twitter user Martin Bellum, who says, I changed all my passwords to Heartbleed. In a recent Nintendo Direct webcast, Nintendo unveiled a lot of new information about the upcoming Super Smash Bros. games, including new stages, characters, and mechanics, but perhaps most notably they revealed that the 3DS version of the game is coming out this summer, while the Wii U version is coming out in the winter. Meanwhile, some people just stood in awe of the new screenshots, such as Twitter user Darren Kerwin, who says, Ladies and gentlemen, the new final destination for Super Smash Bros. U slash 3DS. I'm in love. Hashtag Smash Bros. Well, the series finale to How I Met Your Mother aired this past... I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm still not over it. I, I, I can't. Well, the popular VGM scene band Metroid Metal recently and unexpectedly released a new album entitled Other Album. Joining us now live on the scene is Elias Thompson Show newsroom correspondent Elias Thompson. Elias, what are people saying about this? Yeah, thanks Elias. A lot of people seem to be pretty excited about the recent release. We're actually joined here by a very enthusiastic Metroid Metal fan, Grant. Grant, what are your thoughts on this unexpected release? I'm just, I'm totally surprised. I'm shocked. It's exciting. They got you know new album out and all the other stuff that Stimmage has been working on. I'm just really, it's really stoked. It's funny. It's funny you bring that up because a lot of people have actually raised a little bit of a concern that Stimmage has been working on more of his other uh, original stuff and less on Metroid what Metal. What concern with my concern with my music? No, I just meant that some people have, have you don't just like, brought You don't like my, you don't like my, my I mean, I don't think my personal opinion matters I, here too you, much. You're not, do you want to you go? No, no, I, just, I will. I will cut you. That was Elias Thompson reporting. That's all the time we have for today, but if you have a news tip you think I might care about, feel free to let me know or link me in the comments. Up next is the 60 second interview. Thanks, Elias. I'm here with popular esports personality Gillyweed. Gillyweed, it's a pleasure to have you on our program today. Thanks for having me, I'm excited. Now, as the title suggests, this is a 60-second interview, which means you only have 60 seconds to answer every question I've got for you. So are you ready? I think so. Okay, well, I'm going to start the clock right now. And first of all, I just want to say that I'm, I'm a huge fan of all your work. I watch every single video. As soon as they're uploaded, I have text message alerts. So thank you for being on the program. Well, thank you. Uh, my first question for you is, being an eSports personality, what's it like to sort of be in the arena with all of these professional StarCraft II players, the excitement in the air, commentating and all that? What's that like? Well, I don't really know because I haven't ever done that yet. Oh, um, okay, what, what, what do you do? Well, I produce two YouTube shows. The first one is StarCraft Craft Stars, which features fan art of StarCraft II. And the second one is Build Order Guides. People can listen to while they're practicing StarCraft to learn build orders. OK. Um, well, then. 
I, I guess this question applies. Um, what would you say? Oh, I'm so sorry, we're out of time. But thank you again so much for being on the program today. Thank you. Back to you, Elias. Thanks, guys. This week's viewer question comes from YouTube user David Shank, who asks, do you have any other events coming up where you'll be doing more skits like this? Well, David, PAX East is my last convention for a while. The next one I'll be going to is Acon in Dallas, Texas, and that's in June. After that, I'll be going to VidCon in LA, PAX Prime in Seattle, and OniCon in Houston. As for any non-convention events I may cover on the show, stay tuned. Thanks for your question, David, and if you would like me to answer your question in the next episode, feel free to leave it in the comments below. This week's recommended channel is a buddy of mine by the name of Blair Beveridge. Now, he's a vlogger with a lot of potential, and he also hosts a show called Webisode Watch, where he interviews many popular web series creators live. So go check out his channel, the link to which is in the corner below. Well, that's it for this week, everyone, but be sure and let me know in the comments what you thought about this week's episode. And check out some of my other videos down below, as well as follow me on social media. I'll see you next time, and remember to be more than mediocre.